and congratulations to our winner. Who's our winner? I'm not telling them that yet. Yeah, congratulations to the 500 subscriber winner. But if you thought we were going to tell you right at the opening of the episode, no. You'll find out later. Okay. So the winner has been selected, went through, verified subscribers who have been who were subscribed for that period. Okay. Do you have a reporting tool that shows that? Okay. Um, and comments made during that period. Okay. Um, so yeah. Winner has been selected. It'll come later in the show. Um, you will not be tagged in the first 24 hours. You do need to watch the video or oh. listen to the video to know whether or not you won. Okay. After the first 24 hours, you'll be tagged. And then you will have a week to get in contact with us. <laughs> and how do they get in contact with us? I'm working on that. Yes, um, sir. You can message us on Twitter. I think we have to follow you for you to be able to message us on Instagram or if we initiate. So if I know if you want to just drop a comment using your Instagram or your uh, Instagram handle, Mm -hmm. using your Facebook account so we can follow you on Instagram, if that's better for you. But Instagram or Twitter, our Facebook um, messages are turned off because it's just SEO spam. All fucking day gotcha there's like five to ten a day and it's annoying that's all we get there so just turn it off gotcha yep good to know um or i guess maybe reddit i don't know i don't know if we have to follow you or be friends you're allowed to message people on reddit yeah yeah but the so you have accounts and then you have so it's like facebook how you have like page and account why why don't you just tell them one spot so no because they might not have that one spot they have to have options okay so welcome back um (laughs) to the podcast where you have options for how to contact us okay thank Um, you do not email us we need to verify your account once we verify who you are then we'll exchange details for how to email us but if you try to just email us, it's going to go to a black hole. Just so you know, that automatic reject for anybody that's not on our sender list is turned on. So I'm very security conscious for those that don't know. That's what I do for a living. And uh, if I didn't, I would just have spam all day and I would get nothing done because I'd be marking emails. As- so no, no. Yes, Andrew. I'm talking about the honor or your honor. Hands down, best show I have seen in years. And I, I'm... I'm shocked because when you showed me the trailer. When's the last time you had a Showtime subscription? Because I know what you're about to say, but when's the last time you had a Showtime subscription? Oh, gosh. When Cooper was little. That's why I got canceled. Because no, I've never heard anybody saying, oh, I'm going to go watch the new show on Showtime. It's not like HBO, you always had Game of Thrones. And yeah. Whatever else HBO has. That's all I can think of. At the top. I mean, they've got a uh, hot D now. House of the Dragon is called people hot. Yeah, D. H-O- I've never H O T D. Yeah, I've never heard that. Yeah. Okay, hot that's, D. That's the abbreviation for it. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. I've I didn't even realize that Showtime like even still existed. Honestly, what else is what else is on there? Isn't isn't Shameless done by Showtime? Which is now it now is. now done. I don't but... know what Shameless is. What's Shameless? Oh, gosh. He plays in The Bear now. I'm blanking on his name. What's The Bear? That's a radio station in Indiana. Okay, never mind. And that was that whole... He knows exactly what I'm talking about. He's just intentionally messing with me. I pulled it up on Netflix, and I asked you if you wanted to watch it, and you said that you'd already seen it. The Bear? No, Shameless. Shameless? Yes. Um, drunk father, bunch of kids, maybe like six kids. Um, they live in Chicago. Very I feel poor. Like you're describing every show ever on HBO. Except I'm pretty sure it was a Showtime show. You asked me. I, I know, but I'm saying you're. That's like, that's like your A, B, and C for every plot okay, line well, for American TV. Well, I pulled TV. it up on Netflix about three months ago, and you flat out said oh. I've already seen it. Gotcha. Well, so going so back to mind. going back to your honor. Yes. Showtime canceled it. 
after two seasons. I yeah. I said when we when well, they we, didn't renew, they didn't cancel. When we I finished that different. last episode, the way they wrapped it up, it definitely felt very final. Okay. So I I would be surprised if Netflix picks it up to continue. I mean, there's definitely a storyline there with mom possibly taking over. <sighs> no, there's a lot going on because they got Grandpa Cannoli in jail. Grandpa Cannoli. They've got dad in the hospital. They've got daughter ran away and gave up her baby. Yeah. It poses they've got a lot of questions to think within yourself, they've got though. Frankie Muniz's dad back in prison. Frankie That's who played Malcolm in Malcolm yeah, the Middle, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Brian Cranston. Yeah. But right. what was the older brother's name? In what? Malcolm in the Middle. I remember the, I don't the, know. the, the youngest one was named like Brick or something like that, wasn't it? I don't know. But, anyways, back to your honor. Okay. I would consider myself to be a rule follower and even within that first episode started questioning my moral compass. How far would I go to protect my children? Okay. But it all backfired in the end. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. Doing something wrong to cover and protect your child isn't necessarily going to have a good outcome. But the intent, I... I'm still questioning myself. What would I do in that situation? I don't know. What would you do in that situation, Andrew? What would you do if your kid got shot anyways? Yeah, I don't know. Would I fall apart? Would I seek vengeance? I don't know. I don't know what I would do. And I know that's what, what I have been questioning I know what you would do. since we started watching this show. You would never leave the bed. So you're saying I would fall apart? You would, would be, be like you would be like he was. Tears. You'd be like he was when he was in prison. He didn't eat, didn't have purpose. Just, I could see that. Yeah, you'd be in the bedroom, starving yourself. You wouldn't talk to anybody. You wouldn't. You'd probably throw your phone out, and. But that's if something happened to my child. But yeah. the question that but we're that, really truly asking is, how far would we go? to protect our child from them getting hurt because obviously he was covering up that his son yeah. hit that boy and he knew the possible outcome with the mobster is that they would come after them. So I think Netflix will bring it back. You think so? Yeah. You think it'll pick it up for a third season? Maybe even more depending on what else the... Uh, right, what spinoff? US District Attorney. No, not even spinoff. Just they brought her in and nothing came of it. Yeah. And she's looking at big picture. Mm -hmm. She wants to go after the people in New York. Right. She's got Grandpa Cannoli <laughs> in prison. She's got dude, a uh, little man in witness protection. Right. She's got uh, dad in the hospital. She's got everybody like right within arm's reach now. Mm -hmm. With no reason for any of them to not cooperate. Grandpa Cannoli probably won't cooperate. No, absolutely not. Because that he'll brings die, down he'll his He'll die daughter. in prison. Yeah. But, yeah, like, they'll, they'll potentially use him to help the daughter and grandson get off. Help us take down the guys in New York. Right? Right, Maybe. Yeah, they were like thrown in there for half an episode and then only like yeah. talked about. So grandpa mm -hmm. helps out with that to keep, is her name Gina? I don't know. The mom. Mm -hmm. And uh, his name starts with a C and I can't think of it. What is it? Which person? The son. Oh gosh, I'm blanking on all of their names right now. Wow. I'm visualizing. I don't know. I'm wow. still. I'm still questioning my head. What would I do? What would I do to protect my children? What would you do? Um. Probably everything that the. Um, oh my god! I just forgot all of their names. Mobster or yeah. yeah I had a feeling you were gonna go with him. Like yeah. long picture. Quietly. I mean, I'm saying everything that he did 
to everybody else mm-hmm. would be what would happen to the correct people. There'd be some gas leaks. <laughs> <There'd> be, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You wouldn't do what Brian Cranston did? No, I'm saying go after them first. Don't give them the opportunity to do it to you. You continue. you wouldn't you wouldn't even drive no. your child down to the police station um, with the intent of turning yourself in. So I don't I don't even believe that that story is even believable these days. You have GPS location tracking; it's always on. You have cameras everywhere. Mm-hmm. They're gonna know who was there, right? And when they were there, right? I don't see even in that desolate intersection where there's nothing there. Right. I don't see, and he was being chased by people. Mm-hmm. Even if those guys didn't want to be caught up in it, and they don't like, they probably have pictures. They probably have video. Right. Like that. That anytime you see this shit online these days. But what do you mean by not believable? That nobody saw. That nobody even a block or two away. And that the only person who pieced it together was the random guy who pulled up behind him in the gas station. Yeah. And like that Mm -hmm. was weird. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. It made zero sense. Like how did he magically piece it together? So I don't think it even gets to that. You, you do that Mm -hmm. almost, almost every phone these days has an automatic E911 for car, I mean, the iPhones right now or recently have been notorious for how sensitive they are. Mm-hmm. People skiing and whatever else, and they're on the mountain, and there's mass 911 calls for car crashes, and people are like, nope, I'm just listening to my music going on the slopes. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, it's, it was a big deal. Not maybe not this past, maybe not this past winter, but the winter before one of the two. Okay. Um, there was like a massive wave of them. Like they, they kept having to send resources because. The person's not responding. Right, right. Because it's obviously in their pocket yeah. and they're skiing. That yeah. makes sense. So, yeah, no, I I agree. It's not believable that nobody saw him. But I was asking you the question of would you even take your child down to the police station to turn themselves in? Okay, so we get past the hypothetical here then. Okay. We get past, okay, so nobody saw them. Okay. We'll make that We'll make that a believable thing for a moment. Okay. Um, The conversation that they had to begin with Mm -hmm. was kind of weird. Like when dad got home from court. Yeah. And he was cleaning up. I, I wouldn't know. Like I would, I would think it was a prank for probably a significant amount of time. Right, if you know like, your child and... I would need to see like something on the news mm. to believe it first because that would hit the news at some point. Okay. Hit and run. Police are looking for a suspect, potential car right. description. Like that shit would be out there. And as soon as they're like, oh, my car has been described. Okay. All right, yeah, let's go. You wouldn't believe your child up until hearing... No, I would... No, I wouldn't think that they would do that. See, my initial reaction and would plus he's driving be a, believing my child. Plus he's driving that damn Volvo tank. <laughs> there was like no damage to it. Right. And it wasn't even, even the police. As soon as he saw that, he was like, okay, we need, we know what we need to buy Chloe for her yeah. first call or a Volvo. Even the police who had the vehicle in their possession mm-hmm. and had searched it. Right. Didn't even find that part. Right. They're just like, oh, it's a 40-year-old car. Parts but break they, sometimes. It was also being held in impound because it was believed to have just been stolen. But they still search it. They they are looking for more evidence to pin on the theft or pin on the thief. They're looking for the drugs. They're looking for the money. They're looking for phones. They're looking for weapons. They're looking for all kinds of stuff. There's no way in hell they don't look under the bottom of the vehicle. Okay. I don't think they looked underneath the bottom of the vehicle. Yeah, they didn't. But I'm saying that they would. They okay. When they bring that car and they have it like in their more or less inventory. And okay, actually, so this is even more bullshit. How did the tow truck 
and the tow truck driver that hooked up the car to take it to the impound lot. Not, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then magically it falls out from under. Mm -hmm. No, it's all bullshit. Okay. Despite the fact that it's all bullshit, what would you rate the show? Mm, 9.4 out of 11. Out of 11? What? Yeah. (sighs) Okay. I give it a 9 out of 10. I was thinking I was going to like the show just because I like shows like that. But I didn't realize how much I was going to like it just from watching the trailer because it really made me question myself. The, so a I lot think, of introspection happened. I think the other mistake that they made, because they filmed it the first season during and through COVID mm-hmm. and then didn't resume until years later, I think the biggest mistake that they made is trying to give season one a conclusion. Okay. Like, we don't know when we'll ever be able to come back to this. So like, let's stop the story and okay. pretend like that's just how it ends. Like he's dead and that's it. Right. And then you come back to it three years later. You don't think that all shows like to leave a huge cliffhanger like that? No, they didn't leave a cliffhanger though. Yeah, they did. No, they tried to close off the story. They tried no. to say, we don't know because the studios were worried. They don't, they never, they didn't know if it would be a year, five years or ever. And you know how they're all hyperbolic about that stuff. No, We're never gonna I, be able to I make did not again. finish that finale episode from the first season feeling like it was final. It was definitely a cliffhanger. No, I thought it was final. They tried to make it seem like it. If, if they wanted a cliffhanger. No, if it had the way that you're describing it would have been episode one, season two as the conclusion the, for the finale. No, no, no. no. The, the, the fact that he the, l- the he... cliffhanger needs to be him in the hospital like they described by his dead son's side confessing. That's how you do a cliffhanger. Well, He's clearly going to jail. What is he going to give up about all of it? We didn't know any of that until That's my point. episode one, That's season my... two because my point. they left it as a cliffhanger with a, a dead a son in his arms at, in the hotel. That that's, is a cliffhanger. No, that's conclusive. That is not conclusive. Yes, it is. No, there was, there was you no, don't, there was you no don't know what's going to happen next. There was no indication that he was going to say anything or confess to anything. There was no indication. Right. So the kid is dead. Right. Dad goes home. So, right. That is the that's cliffhanger, cliffhanger of, yes. No, it's not. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. Anybody in film and tv or anything will tell you okay then you guys need to say who is right and who is wrong in this because i feel like ending the episode and ending the finale of just somebody dying and no other information that's not a cliffhanger that is a a cliffhanger that is a cliffhanger their life no a conclusion is giving storyline and narrative to go with it like what we received in episode one, season two. No. Had that been in the finale, that would have been a conclusion. No. Yes. No. Without that narrative to go with the dead body. There's we don't no, know don't what's happening. Any, that's the point. You don't know what's that's happening. That's what a cliffhanger is. No. That is the point. No, a cliffhanger leaves you wanting more. They did not conclude it, leaving people wanting more. What happens next? They didn't do that. The kid is dead. Okay, clearly the story's over. He's not going to work for him. The story's over. Yeah. I disagree with you. Nope. I disagree. Nope. I disagree. Nope. Nope. Anyways. Anyways. So, are they going to bring it back? Is Netflix that's? I guess so. I guess it dropped on Netflix on May twenty fifth or 29th or something like that. Oh, so it's consistently since then been a top ten show on the platform. Okay, and I'd never heard of it until he just pulled it up and was like, "Apparently, everybody's talking about it." Because you're not on social media, but yeah, everybody that's like the. I'm only not on social media. Well. You're right. I didn't even know this show existed until. Mm. A week ago. And it's really, really good. So if you haven't watched it yet, do yourself a favor. Watch it on Netflix. Try to see if they have any sort of like 
Because usually you can estimate, like, okay, for example, on Amazon, if you look at the BSR number for a book, bestseller rating number. Okay. You can, you there are tools that know based on um, historical data okay. plus s- confirmed sales numbers from other platforms. They, they know like a percentage. So Amazon is going to typically be a higher percentage of your online retail. Okay. Like you, then like Barnes and Noble and then stuff like that. And then everything else is basically like your mom. So they have... They have these tools and algorithms and things like that that they've worked out where you can get a pretty good estimate range. If For you, shows? No, no. I'm saying I'm saying I'm sure there's a tool right. somewhere where you can say, okay, Amazon or I mean uh, Netflix dropped this, this, and this during this period, and we have confirmed numbers for these shows so we can estimate roughly per week or per day or per month how many views, how many total views that is getting to be able to consistently rank in the top 10. Okay, okay. And so it was a multi-season thing when it came out and it wasn't a new show and it wasn't episodic. I mean, it was episodic, but it wasn't a a weekly release by Netflix. Right. right. So you have basically given people the incentive to binge the show. Mm -hmm. And that typically seems to be a trend that keeps people both on the platform, Mm -hmm. keeping their subscription, but it also seems to be a good way to get people hooked on a series and then they're generating the demand for it. Netflix hasn't even had to do any marketing. I mean, they probably have a little bit. I mean, it's been you know, on the platform and it pops up as like one of the, the slides and the hero image and stuff because like that. Because it's yeah. ranked yeah. in the top 10. So yeah. that's what it shows. It shows but because so, it's... So their, their algorithm has determined this demographic of people probably likes this. Let's show it to them. Let's show them the preview. They have that autoplay feature that... You can't turn off on most devices at least. So they get you in the first couple seconds showing you something while you're scrolling. Wait, you said it dropped on Netflix almost two months ago at this point. And I've obviously had a Netflix subscription for a while and I didn't know about it until a week ago. It was the first thing that popped up when I opened the app. Right. (laughs) But just the day before when I was on Netflix watching old episodes of sex in the city it did you not probably, come up you probably out of habit you already know what buttons you're going to push this as soon as you open the app you know you're going to go right or down or left and up or like you're just it's turn on the tv press the button or go to the Maybe. app boom 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 and i'm right here in my row of shows but I, i'm just using that as an example that even when we've searched for movies and shows just a month ago it didn't mm-hmm. pop up okay so i'm just well, so between what my Mind it. Hunter and yeah. uh, Your Honor, they're not bringing Mind Hunter back, by the way. Right, we're we are requesting yeah. Netflix to. I don't want Netflix to bring it back. I want like HBO to do it. Is that one of like? I thought Mind Hunter was a Netflix original. Okay, well, okay, so maybe, I don't know that for sure, but I thought it was maybe. So I want HBO or Amazon, just like how Showtime gave this up to Netflix. Right. I would want Amazon because the boys, if mm-hmm. they can do that in the boys, imagine what they could do for mine hunter for these fucking Maybe serial killers. Maybe an FX show. But the, imagine that show on Amazon, mm-hmm. the way that they do the boys, like they can do some crazy shit with serial killers on there. I'm sure they could. And then HBO. No, um, not shy at all. Which so, maybe one day we'll get an HBO subscription again so we can... Maybe catch up on would you call it hot hot d hot d yeah <laughs> that sounds like an std yeah. on your right. penis Don't. hot d it sounds like a it sounds like that uh muscle cream no it's a hot d would be like somebody's got like a herpes breakout stay away from no, that actually, hot d it actually sounds like uh what's it called the oh my god it's like a mexican name or you take a shit on somebody. What? Bertie Sanchez. There we go. Oh my God. Ew. What? <laughs> yeah. Please tell me that's not really a thing. I'm, I might have the name wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, all right. Oh and, my God. You guys are disgusting. Don't say anything here for a second. We're going to continue the conversation. Uh, TX.CTD.76. Contact us. 
Um, so yeah, going back to the show. Going back to the show. Okay. Or shows. Um, who do you think is the best streaming service right now? I mean, I like Netflix. It's easy. For original, no, no, no. For original content, like original to the platform, not stuff that they've inherited or bought or three years after it was in theaters, it hits their platform. Like I'm talking about like the platform or the provider that has the best original content that they started, not something that they're like, it's original because we made the new season. Mm. Mm. I'm guessing you're going to say Amazon because of the boys. Well, not just because the boys, there's a lot of shows on there that I've watched. Reacher. That was Amazon, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but no, not Reacher either. What's your favorite on Amazon? The Patriot. I did watch that with you, yeah, right? It's yeah. just that show is so fucking. It was two funny. seasons, right? I think it was only two. Two or three. I can't yeah. remember. It's been like two years. And it was uh, Red Foreman. Yeah, from yeah, that yeah. 70 yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. And, I, re- I remember. Yeah. I just I don't remember all the details. It was a couple years ago. He's just a. His dad is in the federal government, like in Congress, I believe. And, uh, you know, his brother, I think, was a lawyer. Yes. And then he's just basically a CIA asset. And he's, like, burned out, hates everything about his life. Just droning on, Mm -hmm. doing the job, showing up, checking the uh, time slip, whatever, clocking and clock. Like, it was just, like... Right. Go just, kill the person. Yeah, it was just go that, back. Like, but that's what made it funny. Like the whole, like monotone, like it's like no, the Office for assassins. Oh uh, no, because the Office is like very humorous. Like people, but like, it's make that jokes and laugh. It's and, that monotone, dry Office humor. There's no way to describe I don't, I don't it. Know. It's just, but like, yeah, him just. <sighs> I guess I got to go push this kid in front of a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, it's the office, but for assassins. Sure, okay. <laughs> yeah, I would, that's, yeah, I would definitely say because of that show. Mm-hmm. There's been other good shows as well. Uh, and actually stuff that they made like back in the day, like limited series, Hannibal. That was awesome. Did mm-hmm. you ever watch that? We talked about the one. Was it called Hannibal? It, like he was obsessed with Ed, Edgar Allan Poe, and everything that he was killing. No, no, no. That's um, the Crow or yeah. Something. No, that was on Fox. Oh, okay. Never that, mind. That was on a long time ago. Okay. No. Then um, no, I don't. I didn't watch Hannibal. Yeah, so it's Hannibal Lecter, mm-hmm. and it's like. And if mm-hmm. and then it's like, yeah, it's it's really good, like awesome story. Um, and then, um, Mad Dogs. Yeah, you made me watch that. That was also just two seasons, right? I think it was only one or one season, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, and then there was a fuck. There's a lot of like very abbreviated. I feel like. After two seasons, I get invested in the characters. I need more. I need to know what's happening next in their life. I want Goliath. That's the other one I like. Billy Bob. Billy Bob Thornton. Is it Billy Bob? Billy. Yeah. Goliath. He's an attorney. I didn't watch that with you. I I didn't say we watched it together. Yeah, I'm yeah. Saying, I'm, like I'm those, saying I'm recalling from memory, and I have never watched it. Those three shows. But I think you showed it, it was, to me. I watched that stuff originally before I ever even bought that house in Leland. Gotcha. So it's been wow. eight, almost 10 years maybe that okay. some of that stuff came out. But I mean, it holds up because there's nothing like technological about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is just, I would, I haven't never rewatched Hannibal, so I'd probably rewatch that before the other ones. So when you say streaming platform and shows, are you including like HBO and Showtime in that? Or are you yeah, because saying... They, because they primarily are sub- at this point. I mean, they still have cable channels. Uh, but- then hands down HBO. Okay. I mean, I'm still re-watching Sex in the City for like the 25th time. But you're rewatching time. it on Netflix. Right, because we yeah. don't have an HBO membership. And but I would say, I would say Amazon. 
than HBO. Mm-hmm. And I mean like close, close race. Okay. If HBO... I mean, you did love Game of Thrones. If HBO hadn't have fucked up Game of Thrones... Okay. Then we would probably be more... Are we like going to rewatch split. it now that we have an OLED TV? <laughs> Just the eighth season? <laughs> no. Everything everything from the beginning. I think Chloe would be into it. Okay. That's a long investment. Uh, how long did the X-Files run for? Do you know? I don't know, but I watched all of them, but I, much I, later in life. That was our, I didn't watch it when they originally came out. That was like our family, like whatever night it came out. Because at that time, like you were like, nobody had a DVR unless you had like one of those... Um, TiVo yeah, things? Yeah. yeah, I think that's what it's called. And um, I only know that because the one lady on Sex and the City has one. They still sell them. Really? Yeah. Oh they, my God. They're uh, more of like a streaming box now. Uh-huh. So like if you have that's, a dumb TV and you want to make it a smart TV, like yeah. a Google Chromecast or NVIDIA has what's called a Shield. There's Lenovo makes, like everybody makes one. Okay. It's just... I mean, they're not Apple, very pop- Apple or, has one. Yeah. Yeah. So they're like, if you go to Walmart right now and look at like the junk aisle with like technology. Oh, did you ever download that Apple show with um, yes, Colin one. Firth? Oh, Colin Farrell? No. Yeah. No. I don't think it had finished that season. And that's Ah, uh, okay. So the X-Files was 11 seasons. Okay. Starting in 93. Oh. So I was what, six when the first season came out through... And you were watching it at six years old? Yeah. That was like our nightly, like, family, everybody... Nightly? Came. Like, Weekly. Didn't it only come out once a week, like yeah, a normal show? Yeah, okay. There's always, like, you know, do you have, like, a rerun that you, like, watch because you missed last week's episode? When you were six years old, you were watching it? I didn't watch sure. it you'd until have, I was, like, you'd have to ask 25. My, you'd have to ask my parents to be certain, because I don't, I don't actually remember. Gotcha. But they did try to reboot it. Yes, I did watch the and reboot. And now they are rebooting it again. What? And David Duchovny, I guess, is going to come back. Um, but uh, Scully, yeah. wh- whatever the yeah, actor yeah, yeah. or actress yeah. for her, I think that they said she's not. Really? But I could have sworn that like he died. Like that was... Well, you know, in that show, nobody actually ever dies. <sighs> I don't know. That was much confusing. Your tangent express again. <laughs> do you think they, do you think the new season will be like, or the new series when and if it comes out? When or if, if being the operative. She, she's been acting in a lot of stuff. We saw her in Sex Education. So maybe that's why she's not going to. No, no that one's done. X Files reboot. No, I'm saying all these other shows. Ah. Uh. As of February 2024, Ryan Coogler, who directed Black Panther, Okay. Um, is the writer and director... Oh, yeah. It literally says the writer and director behind Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> um, is still working on a reboot of The X-Files. The reboot is described as diverse by creator Chris Carter, uh, who has said he's looking forward to seeing what Coogler does with it. Carter said he also uh, said that he'll only be involved as a cheerleader. So, I guess like... So, diverse producer. sounds like it's going to be pandering. Sure, maybe. I don't know. Diverse yeah. cast led by... Director Ryan Coogler, uh, the original series creator Chris Carter, has given the project his blessing after accidentally announcing it in 2023. Oh, oops. Uh, no details on casting or storyline. This is from March 1st. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's articles as recent as like. Last what was week that other show about? that we watched her in um, where she was the constable in Ireland? And she was going off after the serial killer? Um, now you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know. Cause it was I'm, really good as well. All I'm thinking about is uh, Mare True Detective. Town. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah, because we watched like we, with all three of those yeah, back to back. We we watched like a bunch of cop shows that were on the older spectrum all yeah. together. What's her name? The lady who played Sully. That's Scully. all. I, whatever. That's all I know her. Who oh, I said Scully, Sully from a uh, um, uh, Monsters Inc. Yeah. <laughs> Gillian Anderson. Yes, that lady. Or Gillian Anderson. I don't know. How, which, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Dana Scully. She played somebody named Clyde. <laughs> what? Um, what in the world is that all about? Look at her hair. 
She looks like she's trying to play Hillary Clinton. That's exactly what it looks like. She's obviously a role in something. Weird. Um, yeah, I'm trying to find her filmography. IMDb. I have an IMDb profile. Yeah, what's on it? Nothing. Because I can't. There's I, I don't I don't remember the things. Hollywood was What is the point of having Holly, Hollywood heard, not the location, a person that I know. Mm-hmm. Um they were doing it for um send me. Okay. So yeah, so I'm just like you just have a blank IMDB. Yeah, with like the question mark profile picture. <laughs> Pull it up so I can see it when you're Hold done on, searching on. this. Okay. Uh, All I remember is that it took place in Ireland and it was about a serial killer and she was going out something and it was like two seasons. She has something called Scoop, her sex education, White Bird, the pale blue eye, the first lady. That's probably from that picture you just showed yeah. me. The Great, um, Robin Robin, The Crown, All About Eve, The Sunlight Night, UFO, the X-Files Cricket, Spy Who Dumped Me. Is this in chronological order? What about upcoming? Tron? There's going to be a new Tron movie? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, how do you filter this? Filter by year? Can I do that? You're oh, putting no. me to sleep over here. Stop. <sighs> Yeah, I can't find it. The last thing I could see is... It came out in like 2014, 2015 or something like that. I don't know. What did? The show. Oh. I'm, I, I thought I was looking... Oh, she was in Hannibal. Ha! 22 episodes of Hannibal. That show that I was talking about. So, oh. um, obviously she was not memorable. I only actually remember the guy that played and the FBI guy. Those are like the only two characters that I can like Visualize Put in a your face head. too, yeah. Gotcha. Well, if she was in 22 episodes, then obviously she was an important character. You just didn't care. Sure. All right, you said 2014. There's Sold, Robot Chicken, Crisis, <laughs> National Theater, The Departure, Robot Overlords, Ranja, The Robber's Daughter, Hannibal. That's 2014. That's crazy. Is it maybe the wrong person? No. Sure? I'm a thousand percent sure. Now I'm going to search it. Okay. What's her name? Jillian Anderson. Or Gillian Anderson. With a G, right? <laughs> yeah. So what's you guys' favorite streaming platform? Oh, and um, for the subscriber, the giveaway, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway is still going on. Um, we didn't hit the 4th of July goal, so there's not going to be the bonus $100 winner. There's be two five hundred dollar winners based on what you guys asked the for. Fall. The fall. It's called the fall. Why isn't it listed on IMDb? Okay. Um, so yeah, make sure you get subscribed, leave a comment. All comments from the past through now are eligible. You just have to be a subscriber. Make sure you watch the full video because watch time does count. I'm not gonna tell you what the cutoff is, but Full videos, shorts don't really count for it. Shorts don't count for anything. Unless you have like 10 million views on YouTube, shorts don't count for anything. So, yeah. Watch full full podcast episodes. Like I said, open up the playlist on your laptop <laughs> or on your smart TV. Press play. Make sure the volume is on or subtitles are on. One of the two or both. It cannot be muted without subtitles on or YouTube will not count yes, your master. view. master. Hey, I'm just letting them know how to be eligible. Because if, they, if they're like, oh, I watched every episode and I didn't get any credit for it. I'm telling you how to do it because that's what YouTube requires. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, you know, you're going to work and you need some entertainment for your dog. Put for on, your dog. <laughs> yeah, put on the podcast. Right? I actually have a question. What? How many people get to leave work for lunch and go home to take care of their dog? I want to know, do you get to or do you have to stay at work? I've never known anybody to do that, ever. Really? Yeah. 
if you live close enough from, say you have an office job and okay. you live five minutes okay. from your office, okay. you would not go home to take care of your dog during your lunch hour. You would just leave your dog for the full eight hours? I haven't ever needed to. I've had somebody else where I paid to take her dog to daycare. Like, I've never had a reason to. I literally, when I first moved down here and I was working, that's what I paid to take her. It was like a college student. Mm -hmm. Her and her uh, boyfriend had like four or five other dogs at their house. So you just paid some random person to yeah, from Craigslist. play with your dog? Yeah, from Craigslist. The rest of their yeah. bajillion dogs. Yeah, they walked and took her to a dog park. And I mean, that's that's great. It was but like fifty bucks a day. Fifty dollars a day yeah. for if that was like overnight. I think it was like forty per day if it was just for the day. <laughs> what? That's a lot of money. That was walking. No, I'm eating. I'm not discrediting that they earned that money. How much do you but think I'm you, saying how much do you think we pay a dog walker right now to just walk one of the three yeah, days? Yeah, no, no. Again, I'm not saying that they didn't earn that money. What I'm saying is spending that consistently Monday through Friday, yeah. all thirty to thirty one days out of the month. Obviously, okay, so we'll say like twenty two working days out of the month. That's a lot of money. I'm looking to see. So we got dogs. Let's just do a uh, a drop in in your home. Okay. Okay. Uh, drop in visit one time. How many visits per day? I literally why is one time and then how many visits per day? It's dumb. Uh, start let's say tomorrow, and tomorrow. Okay. From eleven to three. Size of your dog forty one to hundred pounds. Search. Cheapest one is eighteen dollars, but the first one that comes up is twenty five. Okay. To walk into your house one time within a four hour window. Okay. And pet your dog. Okay. <laughs> Whereas you were spending nine hundred dollars a month yeah. for yeah. we'll say twenty working days, yeah. Monday through Friday. Yep. That's a lot of money. Let's say, okay, let's do house sitting. Oh, these speaking are, of, these I, are 70, I have a, I have a calculation correction from the last episode. Um, he said 18,000 diapers is how many I had done in my lifetime. Um, so it's actually 10 times 365 days multiplied by four children is 14,600. And then six times 365 multiplied again by four children is 8,760. So the two together is 23,360. And again, as I was starting to say in the last episode, I definitely did more than that because no child just stops at two years old. Sure. So calculation correction from the last one. It was not 18,000 diapers. It was a minimum of 23,000. If you say so. If I say so. If you say so. But anyways, <coughs> I like, I would totally, if I, if I had to go to the office and I only worked like five minutes away, I would totally come back during my lunch hour. I would eat at home. I would let my dog out okay. and then I would go back to the office. I'm all about being frugal. Paying somebody $900 to take care of my dog. That's insane. You don't do it seven days a week. Right. I, I did the calculation for 20 working days. Okay. That came up with $900. 20 times 50. I did 45 because you said it was, oh. you said it was 50 for overnight, 40 possibly during the day. So I just met in the middle at 45. Okay. 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 For somebody who says that they're frugal, I'm shocked. Well, at that time, that was my best option. So, okay. I didn't know anybody here yet. Okay. I needed to work. Right. I understand. Yeah. So, you obviously were able to afford 
everything else on top of paying $900 for somebody to take care of your dog. Yeah. That's just insane to me. Okay. It's just never been an option for me. So that's why I can't wrap my head around it. I wouldn't do it again. So, uh, Like, get subscribed, watch the video, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.